All right, so um, so the second part deals with the dynamical system to to represent uh, emotions. And first, I would like to start with um, an analogy. And this is based on, on the model of atoms. So a very useful uh, model for the atom is the Bohr's model. Uh, so with these uh, levels, like the uh, solar system, uh, you have the electrons that then go around the nucleus and you have some levels on each uh, <clears throat> on each circle uh, around the atom. And this is very uh, strong to explain how uh, molecules can bound uh, together and to uh, uh, have covalent bonds, etc., for, for, for the chemi chemistry. This is actually fantastic. Um, however, uh, when uh, the reality is more subtle, uh, and in fact, uh, the, the electron doesn't go around uh, with the nucleus, but uh, there are probability densities to find uh, <coughs> some electrons uh, around uh, the nucleus. And I like this uh, idea here. Uh, because in the feeling of emotions, uh, actually, so the, the discrete theory of emotions, it's very useful because you feel, uh, you feel the fear, uh, you feel anger, uh, you feel, yeah, uh, basic emotions and more complex emotions. But <coughs> in fact, when you look uh, more, uh, carefully, uh, this is not so easy. So it's very useful and it's, it's true up to a certain level of description. If not, uh, you have to go, uh, if you want to describe it more uh, precisely, you have to go uh, further. And what I'm going to propose here, uh, yeah, uh, it's not it's not uh, so based on uh, uh, measures physical measures but more on what people uh, have described as feelings and what everybody can can feel uh, nevertheless uh, we try to have a rationale on that and to propose mathematical models for that and so that's why uh, I say, uh, of course, we don't know the brain yet, but uh, as of today, wh what I'm describing here, it's not directly uh, models of, uh, of uh, it's not electrical models of neurons, for example. Uh, but we have common feelings that we can feel and identify, and we want to propose uh, models to describe those feelings. And one to one to propose is the dynamical system because uh, we live our life. And so we say that our state will depend on time and we will describe our state as a dynamical system. And so this state, uh, we call it the psychic uh, state, uh, which is so you can make a dynamical system of everything. Uh, this is a powerful tool, theory, to describe a uh, process that evolve. And in this case, we say that uh, we have emotions, we have feelings, and they evolve with time. So we say that we can describe it as a dynamical system.
And then we can remark that, uh, sorry about that, uh, sorry. Yeah, <clears throat> so we, we, we can remark that uh, emotion, so uh, as we said before in the introduction, so have an intensity, you can feel um, fear with less or more uh, strength, with less or more intensity. And they have, they do have a qualitative component, so uh, your anger is different of your of your fear or of your pleasure of whatever uh, feeling you have. And so uh, it's subtle because, uh, I mean, it's not so discreet. Uh, I mean, it, it looks like more a continuous system and which is very subtle and uh, it looks like common sense that uh, feelings can uh, superpose and at some point one takes over the other and and so on and so forth. And those are uh, characteristics of electromagnetic waves. So uh, we propose that we could uh, describe the psychic state or state of mind uh, as a dynamical system. So if we call it uh, capital Phi, this psychic state, it will evolve, well, what, what goes in F, uh, of course, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. Uh, it's like a biology, it's, it's a complex system. Um, and uh, yeah, you have a lot of interactions, but as a result, you have this psychic state and it goes all over a domain of things that, for example, as the Freud model uh, describes of, of the self, right? So the integral goes here on the self and you have interactions and then you have a psychic state that emerges from that. And, but your psychic state has a representation is a sum of, uh, let's say, you, you, so you, you, you can sum up with different functions, but we can say that there are uh, basic functions, so functions of base, uh, basic emotions that uh, can have more than the seven basic emotions of the discrete theory of emotions, but yeah, it's like a frequency. So uh, we could describe uh, uh, our psychic state as a sum of different, um, in a basis of functions with some uh, frequencies, analog to, to frequencies. Uh, right, so this is a concept that, uh, of course, I hope uh, to develop in the fourth uh, coming years. And what I wanted to uh, present next is uh, um, an example with one single frequency, one single uh, characteristic function, which correspond to anger. And of course, uh, so I think everybody feel less or more uh, this emotion of anger. And here, uh, in fact, uh, some people have described um, uh, a state when um, uh, they lose their mind. I mean, so... They are rational people, let's say, but uh, in front of an event, they do something that uh, they won't do normal. They, for example, they threw a phone uh, or <coughs> or a fork or whatever they have in their hands uh, to respond to an event, and 
this actually doesn't make any sense, even though those people might be uh, rational. So there are uh, examples even in movies or um, there are examples that, uh, of people that um, um, tell th those stories. And uh, well, so with the, uh, so let's say that we have a psychic state uh, and uh, you have, so you're, you're normal, but you have an event at, at some point, it starts to, uh, to tickling you, it tickles you at, at some point, uh, you have, you explode. Right, uh, and so what? So let's say so. Uh, you can say that this is the the energy of anger. At at some point, the energy uh, focuses and it explodes. Uh, yeah. So let's try to to summarize that. Um, so you have the, this uh, story that uh, a lot of people uh, told uh, this story and uh, and you have our, our theory that uh, you, the anger is akin to an energy and you have it but if if uh, the energy doesn't concentrate in 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 your point of attention, you don't feel it so much. But during the experiment, the whole amount of energy uh, tends to aggregate, and at some point you explode. So um, this can be visualized as uh, as this this movie where. You have this energy density that concentrates in some point. And, well, this is uh, actually a, a nice exercise of mathematics. So what I showed you is some Gaussians. And the Gaussians, you have a parameter. And uh, with this parameter, when this parameter converges to zero, uh, then your your Gaussian narrows and actually it converges to uh, the Dirac in uh, so in mathematics we call it uh, a convergence in the sense of, of distribution and uh, it seems like um, this is a, a nice mathematical visualization of uh, this particular uh, aspect of of the anger. Right, so I I said that, uh, but uh, within this this context, then you can try to correct to 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 to, con to control. So because, uh, well, as we said, this thing uh, makes no sense, and of course it, it can. Uh, even be worse, but uh, within this uh, mathematical framework, uh, you can uh, indeed uh, put a little bit more and say that you can try to control uh, this energy of anger. And this is called uh, a mathematical problem of control. And so you want to find the minimal energy under which you can control this anger and what's your constraint so you you can't go uh, above a certain threshold of anger and well this is given by laws in society by your personal uh, ethics uh, whatever and then uh, within certain uh, assumptions uh, you can solve uh, this problem mathematically.
So actually this, um, well, what, what I said that it has been published a couple years ago. Um, and that was an example of dynamical system. Uh, first, a general uh, concept saying that the description of emotions can fit in the dynamical system approach. And then you have these two examples uh, with the Dirac and with the uh, control of anger. And so our project then uh, had been uh, founded uh, as an emergent uh, project. And, um, and we have, uh, so a bank, a French bank uh, was actually very interested uh, for the for formation, for education, for for their employees, uh, so because you uh, to 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 educate their employees how to respond to, for example, some customers uh, in, in appropriate way, and with this wall uh, collaboration. So I didn't put the. Uh, I don't mention the bank here because I don't know if I can't uh, disclose this formation, but um, uh, this has been founded by our, uh, our, the region Normandy in France. And so we had a postdoc and an engineer uh, who have been working on that for more than one year. And now I'm going to present the context of 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 this uh, this project in um, the part three of uh, of the talk. <laughs> 